What's going on everybody? This is volume three of the month of love. Find out why this is sitting here. What's happening everybody? All right, so the month of love. This is volume three and you're wondering why this cast iron uh, Dutch oven sitting here. Well, one of my passions is cooking. Um, I have a real passion for cooking. And I, you know, started in Scouts. Started learning how to cook in Scouts. But then also my mother was real, real inspirational in me knowing how to cook, you know. Um, and my dad always said, you know, God needs to know how to cook. So, I learned how to cook in Scouts. Uh, one of the things in Scouting that... Um, I always thought it was cool was cooking in the Dutch ovens. Um, and then as I got older, I realized how much I love cooking with cast iron altogether. Now I've got regular pots and pans galore. But also, I'll bring out some other stuff, but with the Dutch oven, especially camping, it's so um, versatile what you can do with it. You can bake, you can, uh, you know, fry in it, you can make soup in it um if you have i've got one in the house i don't have it out here with me if you have the right support thing you can cook on the lid while you're cooking inside the the pot itself of course you use a dutch oven to make uh baking goods uh you would have charcoal on the bottom charcoal on top there are apps out there there are um, things on pinterest guys don't be afraid of pinterest because you're a guy go out there and look at it um You'll find some good information, but it tells you how to set up, no matter what size. I have two sizes in Dutch ovens myself. I have a 10 and I have a 12. Uh, this is a Lodge. My 12 is another brand, but it works. I have no problems with it. Matter of fact, I used it um, uh, three months ago on the Jeep outing. We uh, I did a cobbler in it for the guys, and they lapped it up like I don't know what. Anyway, most of this stuff comes pre-seasoned. Um, I like doing a little more seasoning on them. Now, I will, let me show you some other things here. This is my, if you got one person you need to scramble for, this is my uh, Lodge. It's a six and a half inch um, skillet. It is very primed and ready to go. It's not as black as it needs to be, but it'll get there. Something I highly recommend if you're cooking with cast iron and let me throw something else out there. Don't be afraid of it. I have a glass top stove. I use this stuff on that stove all the time. I'm not afraid of it. The main thing is, is keep it still. If you need to move it, you pick it up and move it. Do not scoot it because you will scratch that glass. So anyway, I've got this one. Then we'll get into my older, some, well, let me show you a couple more. One more new piece that I've got, that I just got. Which is my Lodge Square griddle. Uh, has the grill type uh, surface on it so you can grill steaks and chicken indoors it does really good let me tell you um, one of the things I found with steak in here what I'll do is I'll take a steak put butter on it season it a little bit and I've got a universal top that I'll put on top of it and just let it cook don't touch it just let it cook flip it over once repeat the process butter and then seasoning on top of that yum 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 uh, steak seasoning that's particular it's really up to the person um, I use many different types right now I have a uh, famous Dave's barbecue uh, steak and burger seasoning that I'm using that I really like the taste of um, I like doing Montreal on my steaks too really good so this thing is pretty cool um, like I say, use it for, you know, I'll use it for burgers. I'll use it whatever I want to get that grill look in the house. Um, with the weather we've got right now, you're not cooking much outside unless you've got swimsuit and that kind of stuff. Um, but now, when it comes to grilling, that's another thing. I use a Weber kettle grill. Love my Weber kettle grill. I was a gas grill dude from, you know, since I've been out on my own up until about two years ago. Then I switched to the Weber Kettle Grill. Ah, love it. 
one day I'll get a smoker. My wife's not big on smoked meat, though. I will say that. She's not real big on smoked meat. And I get it. There are some people that are not. She's one of those. Then, my two oldest pieces I have here. This is my deep skillet. Um, look how black that thing is inside. I mean, it's, it's awesome. That's a... Uh, I think it says 10 5 8 or number eight skillet and then this one was my great-grandmother's this thing is old it's a number seven it's a ten and one I can't really see that now I don't know much about history on skillets except for I do know when you see um, the totally flat bottom that's supposed to mean something about how old the skillet really is versus the ones with the rings in them. Now, from what I understood, the ones with the rings in them went in the old uh, cast iron stoves. You take that ring out, you put this in its place, and it's lo basically locked in by the ring. Now, this ring is old. You see how worn down it is. Um, but that, you talk about a smooth skillet. That thing, there's no bumps, there's no ridges or anything in that skillet. I can fry an egg in this thing without anything on top of the surface and slides right out this one has got some imperfections in it there's one right there let me get a little closer and i'll show you there's that little imperfection i don't know the light's probably not going to hit it just right oh yeah you can see it right there that's the only imperfection i use this one more for deep frying um than i do uh you know this one this one's too shallow you get a lot of splash over this you don't get as much splash over um, but I love cooking with my cast iron I love cooking period um, but these these two pieces are the oldest two pieces I've got like I said I don't know the age on them I'll show you what markings there are on them and if you are a little better at the cast iron connoisseur than I am, please comment below. Fishing rod's coming after me. And as you see on this, there's something up here. Something up here. Well, it says made in the USA, but it doesn't say, you know, anything else that I've been able to find. Um, and then just the size of the skillet and number eight. So if anybody knows any more about that than that, please let me know down below. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to quit using them. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is Patrick Minton Outdoors. I love to cook. I love to cook in cast iron. I love to cook outdoors. And um, this year when we go do more of our trips, um, we're going to be using some more cast iron. And I'm going to show you some uh, neat little recipes. This has turned into an eight minute video. So I'm gonna stop right there. There's some of my cast iron collection. I do have a cast iron pot. Um, I have a griddle, which is flat. There's no ridge on it. I have an old muffin, corn muffin pan that was my grandma, great grandmother's also. I'm gonna tell you how old that thing is. Um, then my mom's got some pieces that one day I'll end up with too. So, be prepared.